Hey guys, this is Michael with Blurry Pixel, and I know it's been a while. I'm kind of getting back into things now, so to ease back into it, I wanted to give you guys some tips that have helped me in the past in the After Effects. So, um, if, if you've ever worked in 32 bits for channel mode, you may have at some point seen the kind of, uh, what I like to call, uh, super white jagginess. It's actually caused by the alpha blending with colors that are greater than white, or uh, mathematically speaking, whose channel values are greater than one. This is actually quite normal. You see, the formula for alpha blending actually takes the alpha and somewhere in the math it multiplies it with the color values to get the result. What this means is that the resulting color, the result that you see, will have less of the background color and more of the foreground color. There's actually an easy workaround for this. Simply add the levels effect. And under clip to output white, select all. And as you can see, we get back to what you would expect for the edges in the grayscale alpha area. So whenever you're working in 32 bit, 32 bits for channel mode with images that have a grayscale alpha, you've got to either keep an eye out on the super whites or apply this levels effect with the clipping enabled. Keep in mind too that this does clamp your values. So you want to, so you will want to apply it as the last effect in your effect list.